those funny looking ass sons that you want to talk about kids and kids are not off look go be dad but he's what's wrong with a lot of people and elaine walter roth and a lot of people if you don't know who she is she was the first black editor-in-chief of teen vogue yeah yeah, yeah. And, she's the one that was on um a blackish right yeah she was on blackish yeah. she has an amazing book and um you know she was saying like drawing the parallels between Meg Thee Stallion and Meghan Markle, right? And saying how I would like to see this. Like, what is this comparison going? I, I, you know, I know niggas love to hate Meghan Markle. Oh no, I not, have no, I have no. Every time she speaks, I don't feel like she black like that. She ain't riding with us. She but ain't you in have the car to, with But her. you know what? Well, here's the thing. Unfortunately, she be she be she low key be trying to pass, yo. She ain't no low key. But she not doing I say high key. Different. She be trying to pass. No, but she not doing nothing different from a lot of niggas. Like it's a lot of niggas out here. I don't that, like. I don't fuck with them either. Though. That's I what I'm saying. It, I'm, but I'm still <laughs> saying at the I mean, end I don't of the fuck day, with them cats either though. I get it, but at the end of the day, she's still a nigga. And at the end of the day, like it, like it's the one drop rule. So yeah, her mama black, right? So the niggas, but her mom, we've talked about this, like how her mom did not prepare her for the fucking world. Sorry, that's her, her mom. Her mom was trying to leave her blackness too though on a low low. That's what I'm saying. Okay, mom, so I, I'm I'm a fault the mom. When I think of when I think about like how kids be kind of fucked up, we talk about it when it comes to teaching. When mm -hmm. teachers say, Yeah, I, I I can teach your kid, but education starts at the home behavior all this stuff it starts in the home kids don't just show up to school acting like this bullying kids it's them acting out and, and and so a lot of that responsibility falls back on her mama i'm and so i understand i think she's more aware now based on this situation that has very humbled her and made her realize her blackness i mean look at her look at her daddy was acting and her motherfucking um half sister you know what I mean? And it's just like, you, bitch, I ain't really kicking with you like that for you to be even trying to come for me, but money's involved, so get your check. But it's just, it, it, Elaine Walter I brings to the fact that, you know, how kind of situ the situations are kind of parallel to a certain degree. And we talk about this movement of being able to protect black women and believe black women, but anytime a black woman speaks up, it's like, but like you know like what's what's happening and so i think at some point there really needs to be a, a conversation about i mean but, but no I, I i'm trying to figure out the parallel because i think people just don't give a fuck about Meghan markle like i think I there's more happened, of a, a think, discussion with think Meghan, perhaps, Meghan markle because of her color so we're gonna bring it we're gonna bring that into play <clears throat> But also, how she present herself? If she doesn't present herself as a black woman, I, 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 listen, I only know the girl from fucking Suits, okay? Like a TV show. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it's not like, but, like, it's not nothing about her makes you think like, yo. Even this is not to me. It's not her complexion because I know see, a lot of white people thing. are still riding for black. There's probably yes, but in, in hindsight, when you really think about it, it's probably hella light skinned bitches that relate to her, like in the sense of. Like yes, my cut, my my light skin has afforded me to to be in the room in a lot of spaces that probably if they was like my color or darker that they would not have had those opportunities. Yes. We talked about this before. Yes. I'm aware that a pretty privilege. I'm very well aware that my my looks have gotten me in spaces and afforded me opportunities that somebody that might not be as attractive as me will never see. No, you know. No. What I, I mean? mean, even for men, there's a light skin, dark skin privilege. There's like, a light skin, like, like, uh, like Roy always talks about. He's like, dude, you can be angry and mean and a little curmudgeon because you like, but yeah. I'm a dark skin dude. I got to be more jovial and cool yep. with people because so, they're going to assume that I'm going to be mean because I'm the dark big dude. Yep. And and so, so you have to, we can't gaslight her experience based on how she was raised. Unfortunately, her mama did not prepare her. But I, I don't have, have to give a fuck about her. I mean, you, don't, she just, you don't have hurt to. Her. But I, in in a certain sense, it's like you have to also be aware that it's just not a, a British thing that's happening. There's a global thing that's it's happening. The world nigga laws, most definitely. But it's also, but it also not only affects black people; it affects other races of people. Like I know, I know 
some Latinas like that are Mexican that are warm or might be just as close of a color to brown like this because they be our color too. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, I can't wear that foundation color. I need to be lighter. I'm like, bitch, but your neck is this color. What are you doing? <laughs> so with that being said, it's similar because of how the attacks have happened. Where, we're, where we could have been like, damn, this is fucked up, trying to hold the a historically known, and that's only if you really follow, because to the rest of the world, let's keep it a book. We don't give a fuck about none Whoa. of that shit over there, because that's not how our lives are. They never, you know, like we had the boss people are over through that shit, went to war and got our shit, kept moving, they implemented, implemented a new institution of racism over here. So with that being said, if you're not really, if you ain't done your research, if you ain't really know what you, if you walked blindly into it, if that's true, they would have crucified her just how they did fucking Diana. And Diana wasn't even fucking with them niggas no more, left that nigga, and you see how they still did her. Yeah, still killed so, her. Uh, allegedly, so, they killed her. So in regards to Meg the Stallion, it's like, think about how, in hindsight, she still tried to protect her abuser just based on what our lives are as black people. Mm -hmm. But who would Megan try to protect? Huh? Who did Megan try to protect that was black? That, she I mean, never, she never, she never, she didn't want to tell that Tory Lanez had shot her. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Megan Markle. I'm saying who is black is she protecting? I'm I mean, trying to see the comparison. Like to, a certain, to a certain extent, like her kids still black though, they hella light, like they pass it. But she's no, still but I'm saying, but I get no, I'm with you with the but Megan. I'm saying in the that sense Megan, of, like, I can't like, like I'm saying, oh, Megan. I'm saying in the sense of like how she was framing it. And what we'll do is post a clip and see if how people engage with the post because I don't remember verbatim what but how Elaine was. So there's a video for this. There's a video. There's a real video for this. And uh, but Elaine I'm, I'm gonna plug it in here and let people decide right after this. And so Elaine Walter Roth was pretty much saying that. Their lives are pretty similar based on the abuse that they've taken, but there was nobody really to stand up for them where everybody decided to like tear them down. So like both of them have become the villains in their situation where they've experienced different levels of abuse. That's not okay. And we speak up and we say, look after our people and we don't be extending that courtesy to them. And so in the case of Meg, when you, you know, think about it in hindsight, every, every, a lot of, not every black woman, many black women, that subscribed to Massage Noir were, you know, calling her a liar, were saying this wasn't mm -hmm. true. And even after the verdict came out, it's still in this phone call that really gives you the full picture of what happened, the grand spectrum. And don't forget, he also beat Kelsey ass, just like we talked about. Mm -hmm. Everybody was drunk. We, like we said, we know alcohol was involved with this night. If people were sober, do we think it would have went different? Possibly, but we'll never know. Mm -hmm. But here we are where we we have people based on, it's niggas, I was like, I'll be forgetting that. I fucking they be like, yeah, I'm like, when did this happen? I was like, oh shit, that did happen. You know, the <laughs> niggas like, but I don't be counting a lot of niggas because like, if, if if you don't make me comment. I'm with, but Dom, I'm with you. Like, I'm with you with everything from, with Megan Thee Stallion. I'm trying to figure out the Megan Markle part. <laughs> I, I, because I feel like she think about it from this like okay so whereas 50 cent mm -hmm. has been on record saying these terrible things about Meg guys i'm having a deep dialogue in the group chat about this whole megan markle prince harry thing if we are able to look at her experience through the lens of archetypes and patterns and see her experience as a macro example of micro realities that impact all of us if you are a marginalized person in this country, then it's really interesting to unpack who gets to be a valid victim when you compare the reaction from our community to the victimization of Meg Markle, the royal, versus Meg the Stallion, the rapper. Both black women who've been victimized in very different ways and what you will see is very similar patterns of disengagement, disinterest, and sometimes a deep-seated disdain. 
why do we disqualify black women from this protected class of victims that seem to earn our undivided support? Who earns our empathy? I can name a lot of damsels in distress who happen to be white women that we stand up for. And I just cannot understand why our community cannot seem to do the same for our Megs. Because whether you look like Meg and Markle or you look like Meg the Stallion and your trauma is anywhere in between what they've experienced, for some reason, your pain ain't valid enough. This ain't right. He wasn't there. He does. He has no, he ain't probably never even met this young lady. Pierce Morgan would be Megan Markle's 50 cent. Okay. Where but he had, I don't give a fuck about Pierce Morgan. That's what's it got to do but with black it, people? But it's still whether you subscribe to this world of or, or, our British journalism and all this stuff, the girl still experienced, you know, bullying, you know, all this yes, stuff. Yes, that's right. Give her that. That's yes. right to all this stuff. And you want to know what is still, regardless of not, if she's just now realizing how black her black ass is, her light skin ass is, the bitch is black. And so she experiences- Does Megan have one black friend? I don't know. Like, nigga, she got black ass cousins. She wasn't hanging out with her white family. She so she's hanging out with the black family. Yeah, she was not kicking it with them like that. The daddy was not invited to her her uh ceremony they try to play that i don't think that nigga was ever invited i think you know he came to the wedding didn't he no that nigga had a heart attack or a stroke or something he did not come to that wedding when she was in the car she was in that car with her mama and her mama had that nose ring oh nigga. yeah 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 no you're right you're right you're right you got it now you got i'm, I'm over on other computer research and it's then and this all goes back to racism sexism colorism and whatever you like it's niggas like hey a bit it was a black it was a it was a nigga in the palace who was there who was there legally because you know them niggas was probably this entire time throughout history probably bringing black women in there doing sexual crazy of things course to black women anyway so mm -hmm. hey Hey, I got the. I, I'm on papers. I I got this shit legally. Just let me be great. So it's like, so I mean, in the forms of the abuse and the things that have happened to black women, whether you like give a fuck or not, I can see how she drew that parallel. We'll put drop the clip. We'll yeah, yeah, I'm gonna drop, I, yeah, I'm. I'm it's, if, if you've already heard the clip of it, let us know what y'all think on that accord. But fifty, he did apologize. He fucked up. Um. I, I mean, I, I still want him to look him the beef, though. I don't know. This is I'm, I'm messy. I just want them to stay beefy. Because you're a nigger. <laughs> I know. I don't want that ever to end. He do need to apologize for the kid part, but I want them I, to, to continue to be. I feel like at some point, like, niggas got to. It's like I, want, I don't want John Rule. It's like, 